The character Robert Langdon visits amazing European landmarks in Dan Brown's novels. Dan Brown takes his hero Robert Langdon to lots of great locations in his different books. With the exception of the lost symbol, the major parts of his books take place in fantastic European landmarks, in cities like Florence, Venice, Barcelona, Paris, Bilbao, Geneva, and London. In this video, we present many of them with information how to visit. The Louvre in Paris is a starting point. Robert Langdon's journey in the Da Vinci Code, and a natural starting location in this video. This amazing art museum in the middle of Paris is, of course, home to the Mona Lisa, but also a wide range of other masterpieces, and like the ones Robert Langdon uses in the puzzles in the start of the story. There are always long queues to access Louvre, but it's worth a visit whether you're going to visit Mona Lisa or all the other masterpieces. Enter through the magnificent glass pyramid by famous architect Piet in the center of Louvre. Robert Langdon also visits Louvre in the lost symbol. In the newest book. Origins. Robert Langdon attends an event in the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao. The Guggenheim is open to the public every day. You can visit different exhibitions, most of the museum areas, the cafe, the restaurant, and bookshops, and of course the huge spaces outside the museum, both along the river, with the giant spider, and the massive Jeff Koons flower dog outside the entrance. The Sagrada Familia in Barcelona plays the central role later on in the book Origins. You can queue up for a visit inside La Sagrada Familia, but this magnificent building is impressive enough from the outside, with work still going on. The difference in architecture and building style is amazing from one side to the other. There's a plan to finish the building in 2026, 100 years after Gaudi started his work here. If you want to go inside, a tip is to do it in the evening. In addition to the special atmosphere, the queues are much smaller then. In the book Angels and Demons, Langdon visits Sound outside of Geneva where antimatter is stolen. CERN is the world's largest particle physics laboratory and home to the European Council for Nuclear Research. It's also the birthplace of the World Wide Web. Parts of CERN is open to the public. The Globe of Science and Innovation is a fantastic landmark with an interactive exhibition, Universe of Particles. You can also visit another exhibition which explains the particle generator and matter and antimatter in the main building. In Inferno, Robert Langdon is in Venice, running on the roof of the Basilica San Marco and visiting the Doge's Palace. The Basilica is open to worshippers and visitors every day, 
with some limitations for worshippers. The Dodge Palace is open every day until 5.30 during the winter months and 7 during the summer. Both the Basilica and the Dodge Palace is located at St. Mark's Square in the centre of Venice. The Sistine Chapel is a chapel in the Pope's official residence in the Vatican City and serves as a place for both religious and functionary papal activity. Today it is famous for two things, the frescoes in the ceilings by Michelangelo and by being the site of the papal conclave where a new pope is elected after the previous has passed away. The Sistine Chapel is part of the Vatican Museums and is open to the public Monday to Saturdays and part of the last Sunday every month. In Angels and Demons, the chapel plays a major role in the story. In the movie, the crew was not allowed to film inside the Vatican, so rumour tells that part of Queen Amadella's palace in Star Wars 1 doubles as part of the Vatican in Angels and Demons. Florence plays a major role in Inferno, and Ponte Vecchio is one of several places Robert Langdon runs through during the story. The bridge where all the butchers in 1593 were replaced with jewellers and gold vendors is the most famous bridge in Florence. It's also home to the Vasari Corridor, which connects the Florence Town Hall, the Palazzo Vecchio, with the Palazzo Pitti, the Medici family's main palace since 1549, today the largest museum in Florence. In addition to the Temple Church, Robert Langdon visits Westminster Abbey in London towards the end of the Da Vinci Code. Westminster Abbey is the traditional place of coronation and burial site for British monarchs and also the burial site for Princess Diana. It's open for the public from Mondays to Saturdays and has over one million visitors a year. We hope you've enjoyed our short travel in the paths of Robert Langdon as much as we have enjoyed Dan Brown's novels and the movies based on them. If you're interested in more travel videos and visits to interesting places, please subscribe to all the goodies by pressing our logo.